Follow up now to a story that Target 12 investigators broke first. It took more than an hour for police to find out that the staff at the Providence Middle School thought they saw a gun. I'm Mike Montecalvo and I'm Chelsea Jones. That incident turned out to be a false alarm, but parents are now outraged about the delay. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado joining us now from the control room with the new development. Steph. That incident at Nathaniel Green last Thursday came a month after a gun was found in the school, leaving parents incensed on the response to last week's scare. The principal did not handle it correctly at all. Ashley Perry and a handful of parents demonstrating on Chalkstone Avenue this morning at Nathaniel Green Middle School drop off. Last week, the school went on lockdown because of a report of a possible gun. No weapon was found, but as Target 12 first reported Wednesday, a police memo says there was more than an hour between when a staff member believed they saw a student passing a gun to another student and when the principal called the district's director of operations, who happened to be standing next to two police officers whom he informed. After last night, we're kind of all outraged. Um, we knew about the incident already and about other violent incidences that have, have occurred here, um, but we didn't know um, about the lack of response. Parents attended a Zoom meeting with city and school officials Wednesday night. I see in some of the chat that the Providence police were already on scene. Providence police were called immediately. No, that, that's not true. Police Chief Hugh Clement says officers were outside the school to oversee dismissal, but weren't told about a possible gun inside. The Disturbing thing is the officers on scene out in the uh, outer portion of the school did not have any information what was going on inside the school. We actually were at first angry with the police because the police didn't know what, we're go what was going on that day. But um, from last night's meeting, it was obvious that it wasn't their fault that they didn't know what was going on. Some parents asked for a school resource officer to be placed at Nathaniel Green, which currently doesn't have one. That's something we need to look into. I can't say yes or no because we all know where we are, where we are with some, some individuals want SROs, some individuals don't want SROs, but it's something to think about. Superintendent Montagnier says retraining on emergency protocols will take place over the next 10 days. Now, as we reported yesterday, Mara Lorza sent a letter to Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green demanding that the principal of Nathaniel Green be fired. We have asked the commissioner multiple times for a response to that letter, but she has not yet commented. Meanwhile, the superintendent says this is now an HR matter. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.